Okay, here is a basic voltage divider, and we want to learn how to sweep a parameter in LT Spice. So it's called a step. So we're going to come up here to help, help topics. Let's look at the index. Here is the step. Okay, so it's called a step dot step parameter sweep. There's three basic ways that we can set this up. One right here is where they're changing a source and this would be a DC source. So either a current or a voltage. And this is the name of the voltage source. The other one is the dot step param where you're changing a parameter. This is the one that we are going to use and we'll come back to that. The third one is where you're changing something in a model. So here you're changing the NPN transistor and you're changing a parameter in a model. Okay so this is the one that we want to do and so we're going to do dot step param. This is the variable that you're changing and then there's a couple ways. In this case, you're giving it a list. So you're saying list 5, 10, 15. So it's going to do 5 and then 10 and then 15. You can make this list as long as you want it. The other one is you don't give a list and you give three variables or three numbers. And this is going to be the start, the end, and the uh, step size. Okay. So let's go back to here. So this is the variable that we want to do. So we're going to go edit spice directive and we're going to do dot step. We're going to do param for a parameter sweep. And then we are going to give a name of our variable. So let's call it res for the resistor. And we want to step between 10 kilo ohms and 100 kilo ohms in 1k steps. So then you put this down here. Now this variable right here, we have to come in here and you're going to put it in curly brackets. So that's telling it what is the parameter that we want to sweep. I could put that parameter in something in a source, in a model, in anything we wanted. So this is going to be the start value, the end value, and the number. So I'm going to be going from 10K up to 100K in 1K steps. Um, so the first thing that we want to do is, and now I can do this as a transient response or as a DC, uh, DC operating point. But I'm going to come in here and I'm going to change this to be less numbers. So 100 to 500 in 100k steps. So this should be 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. So we're going to first of all do a transient. So if I run this and I'm trying to get the voltage here, so I click at the voltage here, you see I have these transient sweeps and then I have numbers and so the each of these is for a different value so if I come up here and do a cursor you can see that the dashed line is on this top red one if I use my arrow key and I arrow up you see it's changing where this is so you can kind of see it's kind of hard to see but there's a little bit of a dashed line on that one now it's on this one now it's on that one. And then if I'm on this one and I don't know which value of R this one corresponds to, when I have the cursor on there, I can right click and it says RES equals 200K. So that's when this one is 200K is this line right there. So that's how we do that. Now the other thing that we can do is we can get rid of this one. We can do a DC operating point. So if I put a DC operating point and run it, it's going to naturally sweep my variable along the bottom. And then if I want to do the voltage, I click here. If I want to see what the current is, I do that. And then you see that we have these different values. So this is 300K. Um, the last one, so just really quick to see if I change this down to 10K, 
you see now I have a whole bunch of different values. It's a little bit smoother along here. And then the last one, we wanted to show the list really quick. So we're going to come in here and type list 100K, 200K, oh, I want a 250K, uh, 251K, and then a 500K. So you see I just made an arbitrary list. So it's going to go 100, 200, 250, 251, 500.